My name is Flo Fu. I'm a musician, director. I love aviation so much. People started to call me Air Flo. Hi, this is Air Flo. In every airport, there is one thing you will never miss. That is windsock. In every air show, no matter San Fan or Ashkash. There is one man sell windsock. His name is Bruce Hawk. Let's go ask him a bunch of questions. Hi, Bruce. I saw you sell a、uh, windsock. How long have you been in this business, and how did you get started? Since about 1980. We've been making the aviation wind socks,、uh, permanent and portable、uh, setups. I prim I primarily got into it because I needed them for my hang gliding school.、Uh, started making portable sets、uh, so that we'd look a little more pro professional、uh, than just putting a streamer up. So it had to do with my hang gliding、uh, operation. How do you make the wind socks? Do you make them yourself, and what are the materials? We use a, a ultraviolet or UV protected nylon fabric.、Um, we produce everything that you see in the background here、uh, from scratch, so to speak.、Um, it's not an imported product. We make them in the in the east in the eastern state, eastern part of the state of Tennessee.、Uh, I have a couple of gals that help me with them. One primary uh, uh, seamstress uh, that that does all the sewing for me.、Uh, we we have huge glass tables that we cut them out on.、Uh, we've had a robot that was invented and, pro and produced by a friend of mine,、uh, but we used it up it, it, through the years. We use it for a long time, and it, so everything is pretty much hand cut now.、Uh, but we produce everything in our shop. Is there any special or unique about your wind socks? We produce our wind socks out of a lighter fabric than most companies, so they actually fill up、uh, easily and register the lightest change in wind direction, and they pick up the lightest breezes.、Uh, they're easy to inflate,、uh, which makes it nice if you're taking off and landing. Looking at the wind sock because you can actually see what the wind is doing.、Uh, it's not hanging limp; they fill up pretty quick.、Um, another thing that's unique about them is we we do a lot of custom imprinting on them, and、uh, we've done stuff for、uh, GoPro, Red Bull、um, through the years. But that's The, I guess one of the most unique things is if you want if you want them to be portable, well, then we can we 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 make nice portable sets as well. We can set them up, use them for the day, and then break them down and stow them with the, stow them away in your in your trailer, your vehicle, with the rest of your gear. Hi, Bruce. Can you teach us how to read your wind socks, please? Okay. The, you've asked me how how to read them. Uh, one of the things about the windsock is that a lot of people don't understand is or know that the inflation of a windsock has to do with with the tail opening, with the size of this opening right here at, at the tail end of the windsock. The tighter this is, the the quicker the air pressure builds up inside the sock, so it inflates faster. So if this if this is really really a wide opening, it takes a lot more wind. In the type of aviation that we that we participate in, in hang gliding, powered paramotors, ultralights, trike flying, we make these openings in our wind socks to facilitate the their use with that type of aviation.、Uh, with most of them, we make commercial air,、uh, airport wind socks as well for 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 big aircraft. But but this company was started a long time ago to help. The ultralight pilot, the light wind pilot, will say,、um, have a have a good wind indi indicator that actually filled up with with the wind, so they could 
read it from a distance or read it from the ground for, uh, real close, uh, but more so to, to be able to see what the wind is doing whenever they're up, setting up an approach to land. Um, so the point to all that is is, is to be able to, to visually see it. Um, so a, a little bit more is most of our wind socks uh, in the ultralight world and hang gliding and, and trike world, um, it, you, you want the windsock to be inflated. Uh, you want it to be full. Uh, most, of, most of our stuff is, is 18 to 25 miles an hour, which is most, most of what the pilots are flying in that fly ultralights, say 15 to, uh, to 20. Um, so most of our stuff is fully inflated at, at say 20 to 25 miles an hour. Uh, but in between that, you get used to it, and you and you figure out what the wind speed is based on on the angle of the of the sock. And, and you can see here now it's probably blowing two or three miles an hour uh, because the wind is fairly light. So, but it's actually registering not only direction, but it's also it's also beginning to inflate. Uh, the more you use this product, the the more you understand you know what's going on with the with the wind. I'm not sure that answers your question, but it's it, it, it should give a pretty good idea that that these wind socks are made to 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 inflate and and almost stand out, uh, not not necessarily straight out, but stand out to where where the pilot can see them uh, when they're setting up an approach, so they land directly into the wind. So, how many sizes of wind socks do you make? Uh, somewhere around 22, 23 different designs or sizes that we produce. Uh, as you can see in the background here, we make a, we, the options of, of making a horizontal panels, as well as the banded style that we, that we, that we show you here. That's made up of five different panels. And how does the customer choose the size of the windsock? Is that depends on how big the airport is? Someone asked me about the the size or uh, of the windsock that they that they should purchase it has to do with visibility what kind of distance do you want to see the windsock from from in other words you want to see it from a few hundred feet or from a thousand feet then you base your size uh, of the windsock and we make many different sizes based on visibility um, so if you want to see it, say, from 2,000 feet, you might want to buy one of our 30-inch uh, uh, by 12-footers. Um, if, you, if you're just wanting to look at what's going on with the ground, because you're walking around the ground getting ready to fly, well then uh, you might use something smaller. It's a visibility thing. Uh, what, it's another reason why we have the different choices in the color. If you decide you want to get, purchase something or buy something from us, then you can go to our website, of course, and look at the different designs, and then uh, and then you can always just email us or give us a call. Um, I, the 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 website now is uh, Pro Wind Socks, just the way it sounds. dot com, uh, and you can you can get information on how to contact us, how to order um, from the website, and uh, and just go through and. And, and, and help you figure out which, which one you, you need. There's another one too that's pretty. <laughs>